Hello everybody, I'm glad and you, my friends. My name is Sparky Pie, and welcome back to Minecraft, where we're playing in the world of dreams. So we've built our little survival house, and we have quite a bit more to do, obviously. Now the real question is, what is the first thing that we do in this new and wonderful, apparently very rainy world? The answer is obvious, my friends. We go to the mine, because that's where all the resources are. But, this is, of course, a, a very delicate process, going into a mine. You don't just go into any mine willy-nilly, because those things are dangerous. Like, you've seen how the overworld is. Imagine how it is underground. And so, step one of going into our mine is going to be exploring. Way out there in the wide world. This is not going as well as I thought. I, I, YouTubers, how do you do this? <laughs> Going out in the wide world, out in the exploring and trying to find a village with armor and stuff. Don't ask why that's step one, it just is. <laughs> and so, once it stops raining, I think that... Actually, there's no mobs. We can just go. And hope for the best. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go and try and find a village. I mean, as... As enticing as all of these beautiful caves are. Oh my goodness, so many caves. How did we get so lucky? Well, by using the greatest number in existence as our seed, of course. <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's... Mm, I really want to just go into those caves right now, but we can't. We must hold back and find ourselves a village with all of its delicious resources. Also, fun fact, a little bit of a tip. You don't need a boat if you just swim on the surface of the water. Cause it's a it's about as fast. Oh, there are mobs. Well, you better be careful then. Anyway, yeah, I'll see <laughs> that's enough rambling. I'll see you guys when we hit the village or something interesting. Okay, so I said the next time we find something interesting. I literally went a hundred blocks, looked in one of these caves, and I already found a gosh darn <laughs> mine shaft. Oh, well, I really want to explore, but those those mobs just look so dangerous right now, so I, I don't know if we can. Oh, there's coal though. But anyway, back to the back to the search. Just just gotta hold off. No, no temptation. There might be good stuff down there, but no. We must follow the plan. Oh. Well hey, would you look at that? That that right there is the cave that I was in, I think. I went up here. And I went because I saw the, the most delightful oh, snow. I love snow so much. But then I just looked to the right and saw lights. So I, I guess we're already here. All right. So standing on top of the church, it looks like a should be a fairly large village. I mean, they have two bells. Not every village can afford two bells. And heck, an iron golem? Those things are expensive. So, let's go inside and hope for the best. Oh, I already stole the green stand, of course, but yeah, let's see what this village holds. Oh, but you know one thing this village does hold for sure. Alright, yes, yes. Haha! -ha! Of course. The thing that we 100% needed. A bed. Because I have not seen the sheep so far, and I do not intend to go looking for one, so... A bed is a necessity. I probably should have just slept in it. Oh, hey, sheep! How, can, how convenient to find one so so close to the beds we needed. Oh, uh, well, anyway, there's there's sheep here. There's chickens down there. Now all we need is cows and pigs. So, yeah. It's a pretty good start so far. Okay, now I know I stole these guys' bed, but they're being real douches to this guy. Like, what the frick? We're just sitting here watching him sleep, and now they're inviting the kids into the chicken. What is happening here? This guy's like, no, chicken, this is our bed. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, that's a lot of food. Okay, back on to this point. But of course, first do that bell. We can only steal one, because I'm probably going to use this in the future for a, a raid or something, and we want to be able to... You know... Arr, the technical term for ringing a bell. A little bit more food, and this guy just got up to... No, I'm sorry, dude, but I need your resources. 
<laughs> they literally just woke up to say, hey, what are you doing? That's my food. I mean, he, he does have a point. Ah! Ah! Run away! Run away! He bravely ran away, away! Is he done? That's it. Nope, nope. He's still right there. Oh, hey. Actually, I just realized they have glass panes in their windows. I wonder if I can steal those. Probably not worth it with a skeleton sitting outside, but... Uh, uh, I, I forget if glass panes break. Do they break? They do indeed break. Sorry, dude. Uh, I'll just put a little plank there for you. And wait, because stupid... You know what? I'm not going to wait anymore. This skeleton has to go. Actually, it already left. Cool. Thanks, skeleton. And there's nothing. And that's the end of the oh, village. Ah! Ah! I think that's the end of the village. Is that it? There's really just four houses? Oh my goodness, we're going to have to do more exploring, aren't we? So I was hoping for, like, iron and uh, stuff. Not just... I mean, a little bit of bread is nice, of course, but still, it's just like... Eh. And good morning, Minecraft. Uh... I was hoping to sleep to get rid of the rain, but eh, works for me. Things shouldn't spawn as much once the day comes anyway, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We won't. Oh, fox! We won't. We definitely won't die. What the heck is this place? Looks like the world just ate itself here. This is cool. Oh, and so many caves. We really have added just so many more caves because. I'm, I'm getting all excited about him because when I used to play more, I used to be not existent at all. You find a cave and you're like, wow, something to explore. This is cool. But now it's just like, they're everywhere, apparently. I forget. Am I going? In? Am I going? I think I'm lost already. I think that way's home, but eh, we'll see. We'll be fine. We don't need directions. We have sheep. These directions when you have sheep. Jeez, this world really is like falling apart. There's like big archways here and just holes. Like this this isn't even a ravine, it's just a hole. It doesn't even go into a cave or anything, does it? This is this is literally just a hole in the world. <laughs> what happened here? Oh my goodness. Pie is definitely the most interesting seed. Like this! What is happening? The world is falling apart. The the number is too powerful. It's consuming itself. Oh my lord. Oh, hey, bees. Uh, you just steal a beehive, right? There, there's no consequences for that, right? And you are no longer mine. And you are no longer mine. Ah, ah. Is it? Is it too late to... Uh, apologize, or maybe, you know, just not die. Ah, shite. They're still coming. Persistent little buggers, aren't you? Are these bugs? Or are they under a different classification? They're probably bugs. So everyone's always on about their technical definitions, or this is technically not an insect, or this is technically not a berry, or something, I don't know. Like cucumbers. They're berries. Isn't that weird? At least I think they're berries. See, that's the thing. You can never keep track of all that stuff. And so, I'm, I'm legit legitimately asking, is a bee a bug? Oh, hey, cows. And they're definitely close enough to my base to warrant coming out here to get them. <gasps> hey, the rain is finally clearing up. Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll finally be able to see a village or something. You know, now that I'm here in the middle of the most landlocked area I could find, it occurs to me that there are ships. I could have just jumped in the water and looked for a ship. Well, we're here now. 
Oh, hey, mushrooms. Is this a dark oak forest? Aren't those supposed to be, like, one of the more rare biomes? Not super rare, but, like, you usually have to go running out somewhere to find them. Not just stumble across them. Okay. That's a thing. Yeah, you don't usually just stumble across them. At least as far as I remember. Oh, I'm out of food. It's a good thing I got all those mushrooms. Actually, I barely have enough to get a few bowls of soup. I guess it would work out. But anyway. Yep, uh, update. Still no villages. Uh, there's just a, another big, nice, glowy cave down there. And it's so enticing. But no. No. Must resist. We haven't got... The armor yet? We need armor. Oh hey, water. Let's do the ship thing. Well, after trying to see if we can see something from the top of this hill, of course. Because who knows? Maybe a village will be within draw distance. Well, that's new. Um, is, is that just a thing now? That, that was not very pleasant. Are there, is there a way to counteract that? To not fall in the snow? Yeah, that's not, that's not good. That's no bueno. Holy goodness. Is that just a thing? Oh my goodness. Well, guess we're doing this now. And also not exploring this mountain any further. Yeah, screw it. Ah, run! Run! Jeez. Minecraft is dangerous. And I have somehow managed to lose the ocean. Oh, look at this. Light? That's probably lava, but it's worth a shot. Yep, that is definitely lava. That's interesting. It like starts up there, flows down, and then goes out the the water. That's cool. What are those? Oh, they're squids. I thought I was like they don't look like fish. Well, I don't see any more light to indicate that it might be a village, so it's probably just the lava. So let's go try out the water. Well, this is looking promising. Wait. Oh no, is that an illager tower? Oh my goodness. Of course, we come out here looking for safety and security and the hope of a village, and instead we find murder tower. Well, let's go loot it anyway. I mean, heck, when you think about it, there probably is a village nearby if there's one of these. Because don't they usually spawn near villages? Either way, it's worth checking it out. Probably not at night, but still. Oh! Berries. All right, let's see if we can scale this cliff. Mm -hmm. Parkour. Aha. See, I tried that jump like three times, and I knew that if I said parkour with the intent to put it in the edit, that it would work, and it did. Haha, -ha. I'm a genius. Oh my goodness, it's a berry forest. This is this is amazing. I needed this like a lot. <laughs> I have no food. He says with. 12 of each mushroom, 12 potatoes, 5 sand. I'm saving them for later, okay? I'm saving. I'm, I'm, I'm saving. It's what gamers do. Did I even pick up the beehive? I don't. I think I, I think I lost the beehive anyway. That was, that was a worthwhile endeavor. I think you're supposed to do all sorts of stuff before you break it anyway. Ah, oh, we'll find another one. Here's another miraculous thing. Dirt spawning next to grass. I, f I feel like that's not supposed to happen. I feel like we can... What is this? This looks like people have been here. This... Oh, it's so weird. Oh, it's so... It's confusing. Like, it looks like there are people here. <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, shoot. This guy. But anyway, so we're here. Let's see if we can get our stuff. And by our stuff, I mean their stuff, which is now ours. Anyway, let's find the door. And it's a good thing it's at the back. People can't get in here now. And we're good to search. There are no vindicators? Wait. 
There's nothing. Aren't they supposed to spawn inside as well? Oh, there you are. There we go. Is that is that it? What? What? Fe feel? I am so confused by this place. There's supposed to be people inside. There's supposed to be more stuff, and also, what is a goat horn? I am so confused. Well, that's I guess we're here. So I, I guess that we got what we needed, and there's no iron or anything, but we got a broken crossbow. What is a goat horn? Do you do you use it? Excuse me? What is... Th I, like... Th I've played modded Minecraft recently, so this has the feeling of something that... Come from a mod. But... It's vanilla. Like, there are no mods installed right now. I am so confused. can't stop me, I'm the gingerbread man. All right, and we're back on the wonderful and fateful search for a village. Which, like I said, there, there should be one nearby, right? Hopefully, maybe. We'll find one eventually. Oh, and here we are. Yes, we finally found one. Oh, that's we're out of something. What was it? Why did my brain tell me I'm running out of something if I'm not? That is so weird. Anyway, we're here now. That's all that matters. And now we can steal their stuff. Oh, furnaces. Beautiful. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go loot this place real quick and we'll be back. Mm, hello, sir. If you don't mind, I'm going to trade you beds. <laughs> Purple bed. Very nice. <gasps> Doggo! But there's no bones! Oh no! Go with the doggo! Oh well. We'll survive, I guess. I don't like it. Okay, well, this is a village of apparently three cartographers. And I think there's a wool person, so a loom. What is that called? People who deal with looms. And then this person, who just lives here. And they're all children. I have not seen a single grown villager since I got here. What is happening? The first village was almost nothing too, but then this one is just a village full of children who make maps. <laughs> I, I, I'm so confused, but also intrigued. This... This is crazy. Well, uh, I guess this village was a bus, so we're on to the next one. <gasps> a spider. I want to kill it for its string, but also it's just so cute and cuddly. Okay, I'll leave you here. Sorry, Betty, no bones from that one. Mm -hmm. Another set of bees. I wonder if we can get these ones peacefully. Well, I'm, I'm going to see if I can figure out how to do that. I think that you gotta smoke them out with a furnace. Ooh, snowy biome. We love snow. <gasps> An igloo. Okay. <gasps> and a, f a village. Okay, okay, okay. All sorts of exciting stuff happening. Let's, let's do it one thing at a time. <gasps> Eggs. Oh, yes. Okay, anyway. One thing at a time. Alright, I believe all three bees are in here. I think there are three bees. Uh, I think I was told this is what you do. And then... Right? Here, let me look it up again. And after looking it up, I see what the problem was. I need silk touch. And move on to the next thing, which was, I saw along with the village on top of the hill, and the snowy biome, and the, the igloo, was this. You guys probably already saw it, but I, I just now saw it. So... <laughs> We're apparently much closer to the nether than we thought. Dang, that's almost a full portal there. Except it's split in half, but we can, we can work with this. 
remember this. Anyway, um, yeah, here we go. <gasps> Gold! <laughs> With mending? Oh boy, so I don't have to worry about it dying. And hey, so touch ho. So yeah, this is this is actually a freaking treasure trove. So that does five yeah, we don't need the sword. But oh my goodness. We really need to organize. I do not need that. Do I need a crossbow? Do I do I really need a crossbow? And these books they're nice for making some enchanting stuff, but it's like, do I need the this is the this is the dilemma I always go through whenever I open a new chest in Minecraft. It's like, do I ah uh, but yeah, but no, but yes, but mm, uh, yeah, I don't need a book. And this I can just put on. And then this we can use for those pesky bees. Pesky bee! Anybody who gets that reference, I feel so sorry for you. Because I get it too. And here we go. Uh, honestly. Oh, but crying obsidian doesn't count towards it. So, but honestly, if, if I'm willing to sit here for ages and just work on this, which I am not, I could cut out the crying obsidian and replace it with the actual obsidian. Actually, does it affect that? Let's see real quick. I, I don't really care about that because, yeah, no, Crying Obsidian does not count. But, yeah, that, that, was, that, was, that was pretty good. I think I'm happy about that. And we finally got some armor, technically. And it's mending, technically. Although it's not going to really help that much, is it? <gasps> and hey, a farm! We already have potatoes and the uh, mushrooms, eggs, carrots. We already have potatoes and carrots, but hey, we finally found one with a farm. So maybe, just maybe, these guys actually have some stuff that we'll need. Oh, lanterns could be cool. Now that I don't want to steal those, we'll just use torches for now. Actually, I do want to steal two of them, four of them. I'm going to steal their lanterns, eh? And I'm going to run away while doing it. <laughs> because we do not want to deal with that. Come here, you freeper, you. Bring it on! I've dealt with your kind before. Oh, so many times. Although not usually with zombie support. But, I got the stuff. It's, I didn't get the stuff because I'm having full inventory. Oh my goodness. Uh, we do not need flint. So we'll get rid of that. Yes, we have gunpowder now. Beautiful, beautiful. And actually, let's just let's just steal this guy's bed. We're going to sleep. And also, this will, of course. And the guy just flew out the door. All right, let's try a different bed. Upstairs, upstairs. There are no stairs. Up the hill, where hopefully they haven't spawned in as much. And also there's an iron golem to protect us, as well as one on the... Oh no, that's a chimney. I was like, is there an iron golem on the roof? What the heck? Okay. There's no bed. Let's try that again. But with a bed. I am really doing dangerous here. Alright, my turn. So I just found this little, this little shack. It's supposed to be a fishing shack, and I was like, oh, I wonder what's in here. Oh, it's nothing. Huh. I wonder why there's nothing in this fishing shack. What a mystery. <laughs> Probably because they built it about a mile away from the nearest water. Anyway, so did they like kill the spawn rates for villages with foundries or, you know, the iron workers in them? Because I am just not finding any. Three villages and no iron workers. It's crazy. And speak of the devil. Oh wait, no, I should probably <laughs> make sure I stay organized here. And what do I do about these guys? I guess we don't need wheat. We have, we can get seeds easily enough. And so there we are. We finally have our iron. And, wouldn't you know it, now that I think about it, enough iron to make a sword. So I'll go back to my crafting chest, which is, er, crafting chest. 
crafting table, which is right next to the beehive. That looks like it should be a structure, doesn't it? A little shadow there. <laughs> I should make really tall structures like that in Minecraft. Just random, really, really tall things. And now that we've gotten our wish for a silk touch, we just have to wait for our friendly bees to join the hive. Probably at night, so that's going to be fun. And then we will have ourselves a wonderful beehive. Get rid of that. Doing that anymore. Got a... Doing that anymore. Got a sword. Good to go. Oh, hello there. Where's your home, little buddy? Aren't aren't you supposed to go to their hive at night? This guy this guy's pretty far from the other hive I have. It's just not going to his hive. And he keeps dumping himself in the water. Like he's trying to kill himself. I feel, I'm starting to feel concerned for this guy. He's homeless and suicidal. We, we really need to take care of this guy. Okay, but honestly, aren't they supposed to go home at, the, in, at night? So, I'm, so I looked it up and I think this guy might be acting this way because he can't find any flowers. And so he has nothing to pollinate and thus nothing to bring home. In which case, I I think he might just be dumb, but we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, hey, he found it. Hey, just maybe. Yeah, there we go. Now you got it, buddy. All right, let's take that pollen back home. Yes, yes. I'm starting to think this guy doesn't have a home. He's been... He's been Floating in circles for a while now. I, I think they're supposed to only pollinate things when they do have a home, but it's, it's just not. Okay, I think the number of creepers and spiders and zombies here is going to inspire me to not follow that guy anymore. If I had a lead and a name tag, I'd, I'd bring him home and call him, like, Beetroot. Because it's a bee-inspired name, and also he's about as useful as Beetroot. But... Anyway, let's see if this works. This should work. Hey! And we still touched a... God, I hate these babies. <laughs> but we still touched ourselves a nice bee nest, and I think... I think we're good. We should have the bees in it. And I, I, we got our armor, we have a nice iron sword. That's enough to go exploring in a cave. So, I think we're off on our way home. No, good. It's a polar bear. Two of them. Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. Can I feed you fish? I guess you don't like cooked fish. Oh, I want to feed you guys. Can I? No, I can't feed you. Darn it. Oh, well, I guess we're going home. Oh, no. This is quite a lot of ice. Wow. Okay, um, I guess this is a convenient way to get home, and heck, maybe there will be a pirate chest underneath, which if there is, we're definitely prepared for that. We 100% we have enough room in our inventory to store a pirate chest. Oh, hey, and would you look at that? Another, another illager outpost. Oh, hey, and would you look at that? Another illager outpost. Um. Is there some sort of turf war going on here? Well then, I guess I'll, uh, I'll come back and see this later. There we go. That's much nicer. And there's our nice little bed. And... That's it. We're home. I just gotta sort all this stuff into these chests. And, well, all these chests. So we just got a whole bunch of chests. So I will start on that little quest. But in the meantime, I will go on the roof and say to you, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. Today's subscriber image is going to be a bar of gold. Because we just got a nice golden chest plate and this hoe, which was so helpful to us, is golden. 
So I think today's subscriber image would appropriately be a golden bar, just a bar of gold. So there you are, subscribers. That's your image for today. And non-subscribers, you get to look at that image and wish you had that image. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And until next time, get psyched, everybody. See ya! Point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine.